Kenosha, Wisconsin. Great, great site. Got a beautiful pylon right by the freeway. Building's a brand new shell, so there's no issues. Um, building is approximately 140 feet that way by 50 feet deep. The only thing that we have to do is offset the showroom with a little vestibule, I think, to make it work. And one of the issues I got to check out, make sure the city's not going to require the bathrooms to be part of the retail space. You've got 16 foot uh, clearance, two 12 foot overhead doors. See it's wide open. Landlord still has to put the concrete in the HVAC. My understanding is he's going to say set the furnace and the air conditioning, but uh, tenant's work is to do all the duct modification and the duct work. He's going to bring in a 200 amp electrical panel box. Uh, tenant's responsibility is, is to do all the rest of the electrical. Um, the water heater is already in. So my thought is, is that we would come in, we would build an approximate eight foot come out about right here with a little vestibule come over clear this double door run a wall all the way across here into the vestibule so you would end up with approximately a 48 by 24 25 foot showroom you would then pick up all this uh, lighting the natural lighting in here as opposed to using uh, the other door. We could do the same thing on the other door. I'm not sure that it matters. Uh, the building was designed, I think, to be split in two. Other than that, it's a, you have no issues with loading or unloading. The other way, of course, is to do it is to just bring a wall all the way across here but for whatever reason it doesn't line up and then you'd lose an overhead door. So I think uh, the best way is to kind of do an offset little vestibule, let the customers come in, walk, make a little jog into the showroom and give you a, uh, a straight rectangular showroom. These will be the two bathrooms. Uh, he was asking, uh, the, the LOI only called for uh, 180A, but I think that you're because of the loft, you might as well have them put both of them in, uh, as opposed to just putting one in. All the plumbing's going to be in there. This is the rear of the property. There's a building behind you. And as I said, the semis would be able to come right back in here, and you'd have... Uh, plenty of room to load and unload. So this is your trash enclosure. And that's it from uh, Kenosha.